Okay, hey, I, hi, I'm Dan Prince. Um, I work on Upstream Triple O. So, Okada was, was very short, and uh, I've talked with a few people that work on Triple O. Um, what did you get done during this cycle? So, a um, couple of things. I mean, um, worked on a new feature. It's a new type of undercloud installer for Triple uh, O. Um, I'm actually really excited about this. Um, uh, several angles to it. Uh, one is uh, we used it to sort of springboard the containers development. Um, uh, basically, by reusing the same Triple O heat templates to install the undercloud and the overcloud, um, we can basically uh, leverage, um, you know, the same architecture, and you know, it, it gives you a framework where you can d d design and uh, uh, implement services on a single node, uh, and then also have them work in a multi-node overcloud environment. So. Um, we sort of paved the way for that. Uh, it, uh, the, the, the patches didn't all land in Okada, but we did a lot of the uh, sort of precursor work to that. So is that something you're going to continue, I assume, in, in the Pike cycle, right? Yes. Uh, I, I expect in Pike there will be uh, more polish on the Undercloud installer. Um, I'm not sure it's actually going to end up being like an official feature for Pike, but it's definitely something that you know the, I, I think a lot of the developers and will will leverage that for development and CI to get you know an increased coverage of the services for uh, for Triple O. So we're a little over halfway through this week of meetings. Um, how have they been for you? Uh, they've been really good. I was actually really. Uh, uh, jazzed about the uh, the containers meetings in particular, uh, some of the cross community meetings. Um, just uh, you know, getting some of the uh, cola guys and the triple O guys and the helm guys and the career guys. Um, you know, it, it seemed like as opposed to past discussions, which may be at previous conferences, things might have been a little contentious between the projects. Um, there's a lot more focus here. I don't know if this is just because of the PTG or what, but. Um, a lot more focus on just you know collaboration, what we can uh, knock out together. So. Yeah, I've heard that from a number of people that there are fewer distractions and they're really gelling as teams. So that's been encouraging. Uh, what else do you see coming in Pike that you're excited about? Um, I, you know, I guess the containers in general. That's that's sort of uh, one of the big pushes for Pike. Uh, so containerizing all the things. Um, so. You know, I'm I'm uh, I'm excited about that. Engaging the uh, you know the the, the various teams. Um, uh, kind of uh, as far as developing this stuff, I'm really uh, liking uh, pair programming. You know, you get uh, one of the uh, the general sort of deployment framework guys in, in a shared uh, terminal with uh, you know one of the uh, uh, domain experts from you know Cinder or Nova or Neutron and. And uh, that, to me, is the, the quickest way to go about this stuff. But uh, um, it's actually good because you almost always end up learning something. They end up learning something, and you end up learning something. So, tell me about your work with the undercloud stuff as it relates to Packstack. Sure. Um, so the undercloud installer, we've got this. Uh, you can on the command line, you can type in OpenStack undercloud deploy, and basically uh, at that point, you can string together all of the heat templates and heat environments. And so um, what I think we'll end up doing for the undercloud is we'll have an OpenStack open undercloud install command that mimics what InStack undercloud does today. But the cool thing about doing all this is, is that um, we could potentially combine the architecture with PackStack to make both a bare metal and a containers installer um, that would you know, essentially give you one code base that would install an undercloud, one code base that would install, you know, pack stack type things on bare metal both of those can be with packages or with containers and then it, you know the same heat templates could then be used to uh, deploy your overcloud so um, could be some pretty cool stuff and uh, some convergence going on across projects so. what are your thoughts on all of the various different deployment tools and their future um you know I, I think at some point uh, Triple O has been snowballing a little bit. At some point, we're going to have to, to carve out some of the, the technology pieces and, and converge on, on things. Um, you know, whether that's long term, uh, you know, making more use of things like Kubernetes and Ansible, and maybe weaning off of uh, you know some of our existing workflow and uh, micro orchestration tools.
puppet, perhaps. Um, I don't know, I mean, because we do still get a lot of value out of that, but we do need to, to, to constantly ask ourselves the question as we add technology, what are we getting out of it and what can we, we remove?